everyone, I'm Shruti Pandey, Grade 7 Sadhvi Nessus. Carry me. And this is my little sister. Hello everyone, my name is Laifa and I am studying in UKG. Welcome to another video of my channel, Kodan Bibri Shruti. Last week, you saw my app known as Flappy Ball. It's how the app works and its designing part. In this video, we'll be seeing the programming part of it. Let's quickly see the programming part. Now, I'm in my computer. Let's quickly see the programming part of the Flappy Ball. So, in last video, we saw the designing part of the Flappy Ball game. In this video, we'll be seeing the programming part. So, the first thing you're going to do, I've initialized a few things. So, first of all, I gave a variable score to zero. And this is the pipe's bottom. So, when it collides with that, it should stop. So, it's in that way. And the gap size I've given 750. We could also mention this in the signing part. Uh, and the stage height to be 450. And the edge margin to be 25. And the game running to be false. So, because I've started right here. So let me change this. Yep. So when the button one is clicked, so this is the replay button. First, let's go with the start game and slowly go to here. So when uh when it start game, when the game is started, so not app variable game running. For each item in the wall list, all we're going to add all sprites to the wall type. Remove the wall. So set app variable to zero again. So set app variable to true. Set label text to app variable score. So the label uh, label one is where the score is given. So it should be the app variable score. And run game. When the sprite collides with the wall, wall type. When the ball collides with the wall image, what will happen? Set the app variable game running to be false. The game should stop. And all the sprites on the canvas should also stop. It should stop all the sprites on canvas one. So right here, when the pointer is down on the canvas, so when a hand is down on the canvas, change sprites Y speed by minus 100. When the wall type collides with the left edge, it should remove the sprite so change app variable by 0 0.5 and set label text to round down app variable scope so when the app is running run game so run game is where a replay or it's running actually running the repeat while app variable game is running set app variable or bottom which is the pipes bottom random integer app variable edge margin to app variable stage height minus app variable edge margin plus app variable cap size so create wall type so to create a wall type wall type actually we didn't attach or we could actually create a wall type so i'm going to give the size to be 300 and app variable bottom we could also in the designing part add an image to it but I'm going to create a wall type because it should be continuously coming. Create a wall type and X to be 300 and Y to be the pipes bottom divided by 2 plus 10. And do uh, for the do set uh, components height to app variable bottom minus 5, uh, minus 5 and set components X speed to minus 30. So create a wall type. Again, uh, to 300, y is 266 plus app variable bottom uh, divided by 2. And do is set components height. So what I actually did is uh, components height to app variable minus 10 minus app variable pipe bottom plus app variable cap size. So set the components x to minus 30. So wait for three seconds. So what I actually did is created a wall type, which is gonna collide. And I've given the speed, the height, and all the things accordingly. So if it collides also, it should stop. So uh, in this, I've just created a wall type. So the next is the replay. 
So right here in the button one is click. So as we saw in the designing part in my last video, the button one is replay button. So when the replay button is clicked, it should start the game again. So when the uh, canvas loads, it starts the game. So that's it. The designing part is uh, the programming part is absolutely done. If you missed my previous video, the link is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment my video, and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next video. Till then, bye.